So this is a disclaimer for this video. This was actually supposed to be separated out into two separate videos originally, but I have taken so long releasing the series that I kind of really want to wrap it up. So this is going to be a extra big chungi wungi. So please enjoy me wrapping up my Dragon Blade playthrough. No Robux. Heal Bolivians, it is Sister Grady here. Well, they having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in my Dragon Blade lovely little playthrough. So, uh, I just got done doing a bunch of stuff, getting some levels. That's important, eh? So, uh, let's do the number of video interest stuff and we'll get right on and do it. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button and do the same new subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Well, let's get on into it. So, this will be the last episode before we go and we fight. The lovely big man himself. So I'm just kind of letting y'all know that's kind of my plan right now. Is this is going to kind of be our last episode of uh, putzing around, so to speak. So we're actually going to be able to get our settlement up to six. That's why I went and was basically exploring the whole map. Ooh. So and we're able to complete the new land mission. So we got that. So we are actually done with that quest line. Wow. Okay. Cool. So that means we can, I don't know which one of these I want to do. Uh, I won't, I won't click any to start with just, just in case we've kind of got everything that I need to have as far as like progression goes. So, hmm. <laughs> so let's see what the shop gave us. So family business, congratulations. And my cat's here. Everyone say hi to Ash. <laughs> okay. So gold pickaxe. We actually don't need that. Um, it's kind of just one of those quality of life weapons, but what I'm going to be looking for is I don't think we can get dragon. Yeah, I need one more upgrade. So we need that 5,000 to get the final upgrade of the what? Ash says hi, everybody. Everyone say hi to the cat. Yes. Yes. They know you are here. I know that you're here. Uh, we do need the master furnace. That is something we are going to need. Let's go ahead and pick that up while I am in here. Uh, alchemy station, not so much. There's nothing really in there to use. Uh, cast iron stove. We may want to go ahead and do that so we can get some of the cheapo food. So just going to go ahead and get the big one. So, alrighty. That worked out quite well. That was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to do maybe a little bit of base building. I don't have any resources on me. Let me clean out the stuff that I do have. Uh, sell all that out so we can have inventory space back. Actually, I really didn't have that much. So what I ended up doing is going around to all of the cabins. And basically, I was looting the cabins for the free chests. I just went ahead and ran around, did a few of those. Really quick, really simple. Guys, my, my senior citizen cat wants to say hi. So, you may be hearing him. He's in a mood. So I'm sorry. He's mad because I've been recording for such a long time and not paying attention to him. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's pull some of my stuff out of here. Uh, I want all of it, please. Probably. I'm actually going to put the monster clubs in here because I'm going to do something a little bit strange to get some gear going. So... I uh, got silver armor. Let's go ahead and equip that. Looking sneezy. We can go sell our old armor. We don't need that anymore. I know, Bubba. I know. Oh, really? <laughs> He's not happy right now. Sorry, guys. Sorry if you did not want to hear Elgato in the morning or during my video, but... Oh, really? <laughs> he told off my cat. Okay, let's go and get this other furnace set up. Let me see if I can get both of the new items we just purchased up and going. I know. Uh, no, I don't have any bricks. I need bricks. Hold on. I need dirt that I just sold. I'm totally ready for this video. What are you talking about? I blame the cat. Let that smelt up real quick. Let me see what I need for both of these real quick. Since apparently I am not prepared. Okay, we do need a little bit more stone as well. And then what do I need for... Did I buy the other one? 
Is there a crafting table? I thought I did. Oh, the cast iron stove. Oh, we don't have enough bronze. Okay. So stone and bronze. That's pretty easy. Stone. Just dig down. All right, we should have enough stone now. And bronze. Should have a support around here somewhere. I actually have not left the server, so we're at four hours since I've started playing. And y'all can see where I'm kind of at. Oh, silver respawn too. I'm just going to pick all that up. All right, so we got our stone bricks. Let's go ahead and throw the copper in here. Got those clay bricks. All right, let's start getting let's start getting some crafting going on. Okay, cast iron stove. I definitely want just so I can get some of the flax meal, which is the better food. And then I need doing this one. It's okay. Well, we need this to finish cooking. Okay, that's finished cooking. We gotta take our coal out of it. Always make sure you take your cool coal out of your furnaces before you deconstruct them. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna put the big one, the big and nice new one, right there. Because that is a master furnace that just holds more, and it smelts gold. Which is kind of what we want. So I'm gonna throw the silver we picked up in there too. So that'll be good to go. Um, I need to grab some coal for this so I can make some flax meal. Because that'll be significantly better than what we got going on. Now, the other thing we're going to be doing, which some of you are going to look at me like I am crazy, and that is okay. That is okay. So we need a lot of cash right now. We need a lot of cash to upgrade the settlement one more time. Um, I need the cash to buy armor and I need the cash to basically so we can finish the game next time so we can get the final pieces you know ready to go let me go around and go get some of these lower level chests because I do have a few medium keys and I have one small key left so I could go around and go and get some of these also, what I've also been doing is going and breaking the boxes anytime I see them. But uh, we need a lot of cash. Because uh, I don't... As I think I can probably beat the game in the set of armor I have now. Actually, in with the bow I have is the funny part. But we definitely need the cash to get there. And we have to have the cash to get the other items. I think we need about 12k in total in order to basically finish the game at this point. So I'm going to go play a uh, dig masker simulator into the ground and I'm going to go farm up some coins at least so we can get our settlement back up. I may bring us back. We may go do some other stuff, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to let you know we're going to play dig master. So I may go look for some blue chests if I get bored, but yeah. So I kind of changed my mind on how I wanted to grind for coins, which was basically farming slime and the warrior's path quest line. Uh, cause I'm getting a lot of XP, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Currently having to hunt tormentors, and this is going about as well as expected. So, yeah. Yeah. We're at the five hour mark, and there's a giant airplane going over me right now. And apparently I have stuck myself with some flimsy arrows. Which, you know, life goals right there. I've also been looking for blue chests. Uh, I think I have one more key. I have three more keys for the smaller one. But basically, I am just been using those. Because those are also giving a good amount of money. The problem is, I, I found a bunch of blue chests earlier when I was running around. And now I'm like finding none. So it's a little, little aggravating. A little aggravating. I can't bring the horse over here because it's mountainous terrain. And apparently the horses uh, don't understand what a mountain is. By the way, we're at level 18 already. I actually have been out so long I have two unskilled, unspent skill points. Pretty much just working on polearm, bow. Of course, I'm sprinting everywhere. So, just for y'all to know. I will tell y'all, these little guys right here, the fact that they give... 
the monster hide? Like, turning that into... Goodbye? Turning that into linen? Uh, or, sorry, into leather, and then selling that? Uh, it's been really good profit, because if I'm opening chests and having to fight a bunch of them, yeah. Super, super worth it. So I've just been working on polearm. Once I destroy this polearm, I'm probably going to sell it. Okay. My server is also having a lot of lag, but I really don't want to reset it because, you know, I have tunnels dug. I have all kinds of other things, so I'm trying to hold off on that as much as I can. I just wanted to bring y'all back and let y'all know that, you know, I wasn't doing what I said, which half the time I am, I'll go, oh, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, oh, this is much faster. Yeah, using the blue chests and then every now and then farming up those. Yeah, that's that's been the way to go. So I have been out for a while. <laughs> Basically farming up a monster hide, it would appear. I went out and I basically killed a ton, a ton of critters. So I am about to cash in a lot of it. Because uh, this linen sells for four a piece. So that's still pretty good money. I also got enough to finish resource collection. All right. So that finished that up. So we're over 5,000. Let's go. So, we're going to need to manage that settlement, and we are now at settlement. It would be seven. Yep, we are at seven. Finally, geez, five hours and 30 minutes in. I finally managed to get that done. Definitely. So, you got a brand new stock. We now have all of the dragon armor. I have to be level 20. Yeah, that's not going to happen right away. Uh, the bow. Oh, I still want the bow. Good for the kings. But they do have the dragon blade. I do have to be level 20. And we need planks, gold ingots, silver, iron bars, and in order to go, so that's 3,666. I have to have the master anvil to craft that thing, so that's another 1,500. And I have to have this, so quick maths, that's about 345. Yeah, we're going to need a lot. I'm also going to need... um. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So I'm going to get to work on that. Uh, I'm going to grind up a little bit. I'm going to start grinding up the cores that I need so that I can go fight Ziggurath. And I will bring y'all back. So we're at seven hours and two minutes. I have had a very bumpy road uh, messing with uh, some chests. That's all I'm going to say to that. I have a lot more health than I did previously. Uh, Gear-wise... We got rocking this right now. I did end up getting some silver boots just to kind of help give me some armor. Because that's kind of, unfortunately, I need it. Because I'm, I'm getting beat up because I don't have, you know, this is great and all. But, yeah. This is not that good at dodging. So, stat-wise, we're at level 22. So, I've gotten four levels. I mean, it's a lot of combat. A lot of combat. So that's, that's kind of all I can say for that, but I did get enough cash together to figure to get the uh, dragon blade. However, I can't actually craft it yet because I can't remember if I need an anvil or the crafting station. So I was going to bring y'all back while we get on started with this. But if you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the love like button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So I have spent my 800 and, or my 3600. We have about 800 left. So let's see which table we need. Master Anvil. So that is the one that is more expensive than the other one, which I was hoping it was not. Great. So what do we need to craft this? Uh, I have that. I need to go get wood. I need silver and bronze bars. Uh, the other thing we're going to need for Ziggurath is... Uh, 20 elemental and 19 plasma cores. So I'm kind of going to hunt the plasma cores once I get the dragon blade. Just because it'll make killing the um, boss that's over there significantly easier. Master Anvil is going to cost us 1500 So I need about another 700 more 
we can get that. I do need some resources for that as well because I don't think I have 16 bronze, silver, and iron ingots. I don't think I have that. I just don't have silver. Okay, so I can get that pretty easily. Everything else, yeah, as you can kind of, I've kind of been stashing some stuff away, trying to get some stuff ready uh, for when we have to go craft that. And there's actually silver over here, so that's good. So I'm going to get everything together to basically, uh, so we can wrap this series up uh, while we're working. So I'm going to go do a couple more chests, get a little bit more put together. We're going to definitely need more resources, but I'm going to keep farming some chests up. And yeah, because that's kind of what I've been doing is just doing chests and killing mobs. All right, so I got enough together and my server's bugged. I'm going to restart it or I'm going to keep seeing that chest animation, even though I got what was in the chest out. So there we go. We can get that master anvil. That is done. So we need 2100. So I need 1900 more for the jaunt station, but I still need those plasma cores. I have the magic runes ready. And the other cores, I'm going to be having to go and grind to get our last piece. What do you mean I don't have enough gold? Do I really not have enough gold in my chest? <sighs> A moment. Alrighty. Oh, okay. So, we are back. I have all the pieces for this. I just, oh, I hadn't known. Are you serious? <clears throat> I literally was just fretting about numbers. I also realized I am just a few short to get the dragon blade. And I am, ooh, I am so done right now. So I'm like, some of these pieces weren't here. Game, you're cheating me, game. I don't believe you, game. I just need stone. Can I have stone? Thanks. Can I have stone? Can I have all the stone? Give me the stone. Okay, I think 20 stones is enough. And we've also made a giant, giant hole down there. That's great. Alright. So, last but not least, let's go ahead and get this down. So, finally have this ready. Let me see what pieces I am missing to craft the dragon blade. I think it's gold. Yeah, I need two more gold pieces. I realized my math was bad, and I'm like, ugh, seriously? Seriously? No, oh, I'll just remake that here in a minute. I uh, should know if I go here, there's like gold right near this thing. Yep. It's just here a little bit ago. So let me get these last two pieces of gold that we need and we can have the dragon blade. So currently right now I'm at about 800 like total gold that I need for the last piece or the, or the Jaunt station and I have to farm up the mechs. So I have not done that yet. So we're almost at about eight hours. So that's kind of where we're at. But once we have the sword, this should be significantly easier. Significantly easier, especially to hunt both types of mechs. So once I'm able to get that, I probably I mean this shouldn't this shouldn't take too much longer after that. I am probably about to purge on out everything in my inventory that uh, has no real value and anything in my little cell air or my little area just because uh, yeah we need cash. I need 1300 because I do, I do want to get when we get out I want to have enough money to get you know to get a five star dragon I think that would be cool to finish off and I got a five star blade. That is awesome. <laughs> that was that was a good thing. That makes me happy. So one thing I can do. I need a crafts bench. Oh, let me go talk to him. It's, he's gonna throw a fit. Piece of cake. Now what? Ultimate challenge. My body's ready. I will. And okay, cool. Did I get any money for that? You get like a fraction. You get like a, a little. So, let me check this real quick. I need the station. I'm in the wrong thing. I need a crafting bench. Okay. So how much does the Santa hat give versus this? Do they even take the same thing? No, they don't. Oh, okay. 
that works. So let me see how much I can get for each of those and which one's going to be a little bit more. I may be able to get the cash and then it's just a process of grinding. So that's going to sell for more, even though this has more defense. Please explain that to me. So we're just going to sell that and I'm going to sell that. Okay. I'm about to go make a bunch of hats real quick. And I'm not wearing a hat, but that's fine. We'll make another one. We will make another one. I'm sure I'm going to have some left over after this. Come on, give me a higher star. They're all three stars. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some left over. Oh, I got a four star. Nice. I'll sell for more. Alright, let's see if we can get like a four star Santa hat for us to wear. Okay, let's take that. Um, I'm empty. All right, that'll work. Oh, inventory is full. Not good. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and sell. That's worth 81. That's worth 82. I also need to repair my gear a little bit. Okay, so that's about it. That's all she wrote. Dude, that's not that bad. Nothing really to complain about. So uh, what I'm about to go do is I'm about to go... Farm up some mechs, go farm up some of the uh, golems, and uh, I will see y'all in a bit. This is probably going to take me a little bit, so. Okie dokie. So, I actually have enough gold. Just finished up uh, getting taking care of the Vindicators. I haven't turned in the quest, though, so we can go ahead and get the Jaunt Station. Go ahead and buy that. Awesome. So in order to build the jaunt station, here's where we're at. I need two more from the golems, some stone. I need to hunt a lot, a lot of the mechs. So I'm going to go and do that. That's going to take me some time. So I'm hoping under nine hours. I'm hoping. So we'll see. We will see. So I'm also kind of redoing some of my stuff. I'm actually getting a better bow to help with the dragon, just to make the dragon fight go faster, and to help with the golems. Um, I will bring y'all back when I'm constructing it and we're ready to go. I also want 2,000 gold when we go to the dragon, because I want to be able to uh, get the 5 star dragon. Okay, I need my last plasma core, so I'm going to show you how I've been doing this because it's basically taken me 20-ish minutes to farm this one particular mech. So all I'm doing is going as high as I can with my stamina, just trying to get over that water right there. I run across, wait until my stamina's in the yellow, let go of the shift bar, eat a plum, and keep running up here and I go and attack this mech in particular so he, he does clip me every now and then but not too many times so I'm just gonna sit here and wail on him so sometimes he does sometimes he doesn't I think this may be a time he's not actually gonna hit me which is nice and then I chase the core down the hill and there's our final core so let's go ahead and reset on out of here um, I sold pretty much 99% of my stuff just trying to get the cash so that I could go ahead and do Ziggurath here pretty soon. So we have the money. I have all the materials we need. Uh, I have a little bit of food on me, so we'll just have to go with that. My level, I don't have enough for get anything else. So we're at 24, going to go fight Ziggurath. So let's, let's just go. Let's just... I'm ready to be done. Uh, maybe we can get Ziggurath done, like, in just shy of nine hours. Playing literally nine hours straight. There was a couple points, I will admit, looking back on the video and looking back on everything, that things could have gone significantly faster. They're just things that I did wrong. So, this can definitely be improved on. Uh, do I think you can get probably, like, a sub-7 uh, with without help without game passes no probably not so uh this is probably maybe one of the tricky parts nope no it's not uh i need to have food on me 
Uh, let's go ahead and do flax seeds. That's what I seem to have. So I'm going to be using a bow when he's up in the air, and then I'll be using the sword when he falls. So I just got to wait and get the last little bit of stamina I need so we can get on up there. So I almost have that third bar of stamina. Almost. Oof, we almost didn't make that. Okay, here we go. I'm going to wait. It is complete. Let me grab a spawn. Cool. I'm gonna jump on down here. We're gonna head on out. All right, ow. <laughs> Let me teleport out of here and get back to the server I have her working on. I'm gonna end the timer when we actually hatch the egg. So I need this to hurry up, please. And I'm just going to stay in the public server that I end up in. Not even going to fuss with it. Alright, go talk to Kitsune. Cool, I slayed the dragon. You did. What's up? Uh, an egg. Cool, I'll hatch it. Cool, take care of. Yep. Uh, farewell. Cool, I can hatch it in a stable. I already have it ready to go. Hatch egg. Uh, 2,000, because I want that five-star dragon. Oh, so pretty. So the dragon has been hatched, so I can go ahead and stop the timer. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> he just wandered off. He's like, nope, I'm done. Oh, that was, oh, that was a little stressful. A oh, little stressful plebs, I'm not even gonna lie. I got some more quests done. So I probably, when this ever this video comes out, I will make a point to go and uh, give some of the stuff that I've gotten away. I don't need all of this. Um, this account was just used for this. So I will happily give someone all this stuff. I may do a giveaway, so we will see. But yeah, in total, a little bit shy of nine hours. It was a lot of fun. So if someone wants to try and beat this, I would encourage you to upload a video to YouTube, basically speed running. So sub nine hours is now the goal. So <laughs> I probably could do it in under eight had I not made the mistakes I did. <clears throat> I could probably do it under eight had I not made the mistakes I did, but meh. So. Lebs, thank you for making it this part of the video. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!